I was trying to hold these up for like a thumbnail or to start the video and I forgot some of those heavy. Welcome crazy fam. If you are new here, I am a little bit weird and I have a tendency of over shopping and I, hold on, let me drop these down. <laughs> and I actually did a haul video recently, but I kind of went over shopping at Marshall's again and thought I would share it with you. It was partially because I needed things and honestly, it was partially because it was the weekend and a guy wasn't texting me back and I kind of wanted to just go out last minute and feel better. Probably not the best way to do it, but I needed stuff, so it was fine. I'm gonna show you everything I got, but I am gonna save my favorite item for the end because it's something I most definitely didn't need, but I definitely love and have already started using. I'm gonna start off by actually showing you, sorry to hear the crinkle of the bag throughout this, but I am going to show you one of the most useful items that I got, surprisingly, because it's not something you'd normally buy in California, and that's a raincoat. And I'll tell you every what everything costs and how much, you know, I got it for compared to how much it was actually on the market for if I bought it at the actual store. And I kind of bought it as like just like a windbreaker to have, and now it turned into a total raincoat for this week. It is cute like this, and it has a scrunched waist. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it has a little scrunched waist so you can pull it in and have it tighter, but it's actually, the pull tab is in the middle, so you can pull it, make it tighter so you have a cinched waist, but it is super cute. So yeah, it just looks like this, it zips up in the front, has a scrunched waist, then it has, you know, pockets on the side. And this one was, let's see, I won't lie, I kind of wore some of this stuff ready, so here are the receipts, and I put little notes on what they were for, so let's find what it is. Um, black fade, no, 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 jacket, $16, it was originally $19 at Marshall's, and it was a red tag item, it said it's comparable at $25, this one didn't have the tag from wherever it came from, it just had like, you know, the brand which is Nylon Outerwear, what, that's what it is, and it's from Nice Sono Los Angeles. Before I move on to the next item, I'm kind of curious what your weather is like, because like I said, it's been rainy here, and for my parents where they're usually the worst weather, they have sunshiny, nice weather, and I'm like, I'm California, I'm supposed to have the better weather. So please comment down below and tell me what state you live in and what your weather is like, because I am so curious to see what it is like compared to California right now and let's move on to the next item in this haul I promise you there's a bunch of different stuff here from clothing to kitchen to beauty and I'm gonna move into this top that I most definitely didn't wear I came in I most definitely did and I really like this top and it's so much better without um, wearing a tank top underneath it but I wore it for the first time to work so I kind of had to but here is the top that I'm attempting to put right side <laughs> out and so it looks like this it has a little um cinched waist like the jacket and a little bow right here it opens up like that but it is stitched so it's not too open and it is super cute it is super low cut though so you will have to wear a tank top with it if you're kind of being trying to be more professional but i love the fit without a tank top i stopped wearing bras so i don't know if that's tmi but this top is great for stopping wearing bras because it's low cut you don't care if your bra is showing because you're not wearing one and then it's just comfortable on the chest and i thought it was super cute and i got it for ooh striped top this one also didn't have an original tag but it was Caution in the wind for $12 and it says it's compared at 17. So I got a few different jeans. So I didn't really need a top. I definitely need a jacket and I need more black jackets. So I definitely have to go shopping, maybe online just to find like cheap black jackets that are just light to throw on with things. I wanted more than that, but the store was actually closing as I was like trying things on. I was like rushing to try on everything I could before it was time to close. And they're literally like, the store is now closed. And I'm like, well fudge, because I'm trying to make last minute decisions on my jacket, which is also why I got the jacket in a medium instead of a small was because I grabbed the wrong one. But that's okay, it's still cute. It's a little bit just more oversized. And let's move into the other things I definitely needed, like the jacket, which is jeans. So I ripped all the crotches in all of my jeans because my thighs like to rub together and rip a hole in them. Don't know if you feel that feeling, but I no longer have any real jeans. So I went jean shopping and I got these black pair of jeans right here. They're a little bit high-waisted, but not super high-waisted. But they have like real back pockets, but the front pockets are totally fake. And it's more of like a legging material. 
so they stretch. They're basically leggings that look like jeans and they're cute for $14.99. They said they're compared at $19. But as we go throughout this, you're gonna realize the compared at thing is totally not accurate when they have the actual tag of the item for the original price or whatever you consider as original. And it's definitely not what they say at compared at. So I'm not sure how they get the compared at numbers for that, but it is kind of interesting to see that. So that is pair, jean pair one. And then jean pair two, which I might be returning because I tried to try it on with the shirt that I thought it would look cute and they didn't seem to fit right, but it was early before work and I didn't have time to really decide like, oh, is that a pair of jeans that I would want to keep or return? So I still have to try them on and see if they're going to work, but I want something like this. So if this doesn't work, I'll definitely have to find other ones. I think it's because they might be a little too big on me. And they look like, like this ripped down the front, but I think they just fit too big and baggy. So we'll see how they go, but I definitely want a pair of ripped jeans because oddly enough, I've never owned ripped jeans. And these ones are just called Indiago Renum something or another. And they cost, oh, these were the ones that were like last act. Well, not last act, Macy's term, but they were the ones with a red um, sales clearance tag and I got them for $13. They were $16.99 at Marshalls and they were compared at $22. But this one had a bunch of its original like tag stuff. So it's like recycled denim. And then it says it's natural fabric. Oh, the dye might rub off in color other fabrics or upholstery. So it kind of just warns you that it might dye things. And they're mid-rise, narrow leg, above ankle. They were definitely not above ankle. So I think I most definitely did not get the right size. But that was the second pair of jeans I got that I may or may not keep. And then these pair right here are the other pair. Oh, there's a tag for something. Super high-waisted, perfect skinny fit ankle pant. I think this is for the black ones that I've already worn, but I'm not completely sure. And then I got another pair of black jeans, but these are more actual jeans. They're still a little bit stretchy, but they're just more jean material like, and let's see that front pocket. <sighs> they don't have front pockets. I never check this and I'm annoyed every time when they don't have front pockets. At least it does still have the back pocket. But these are more, oh, maybe these are the ones that are high-waisted. No, these ones got their own little tag stuff. But they are two button, um, higher waisted, but not completely high waisted, black jeans, skinny fit, and they are from Azor Denim, I think that's what it's called. And it looks like this tag is Azor Denim. I'm not really sure how you say that. And I got these bad boys for $16.99 and they're compared at $22. I think they might be a little bit big on me. Um, but again, I was trying them really quickly in the fitting room. So we'll see how those goes, but I definitely need more than one pair of black jeans. I need like something more work-like, something more af after work and you know, just to have two pairs at least. And then let's see, I think I have one. I totally forgot I got these. I was thinking I might have got these and then I kind of couldn't remember completely if I did. But these aren't really jeans. <laughs> They're definitely leggings. But I got like a pleather legging and it's not like the full out like leather leather look. But they have these zippers right here which would be most likely hidden from my shirts. But I thought they were cute, and if I remember correctly, they fit really well, and I think that's the main reason why I got them. And they have this huge, like, elastic at the top that'll hopefully keep these bad boys up, because I sometimes have that problem with leggings where they kind of, like, just slip. Um, and then these ones I got for $19.99, and they're compared at $30. And it doesn't, it has the original, like, tag stuff, but not, like, a price on them. And it is just from Leighton, Leighton, Leighton? There's a size medium, so I'm, I'm not sure if they work. I'm usually a small, but we'll see how they fit once I'm not rushing in a fitting room. But I thought they would be super cute, be able to wear them at work or outside of work. And normally I don't, like the prices that you see me spending in this haul are definitely not what I usually do. Like I said, I was kind of just trying to feel better and I just needed things and I didn't want to wait to find a better deal. So normally the price I spend is around like $13 for jeans is like the average, not like $19, stuff like that. And then tops are usually around the $10 range. So some of these stuff are more than I would normally spend, but I wanted to feel better and I just wanted to get things quickly and not have to wait and shop around more. So let's finish going into the haul. I only have a few more like actual clothing items and then we will get to the other items too. 
And it's this top right here. I love these peplum tops. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because like fall out black. I don't know if it's gonna black out on you. But it's just a peplum top with a you know cinched waist and the little poof on the end, which is what a peplum top peplum top does. And it is compared at $13 and I got it for $9.99. So that's more of the average price I spent on tops. And I thought it'd be super cute for a work top with some jeans or leggings. And it's also great if I want to dress it up for a night out because it's black, so it kind of matches with everything. The goal of the shopping trip, which I'm not sure how successful I really was at it, but I was trying to find plain tops to match with my funky pants and find plain pants to match with my funky tops. Because I kind of have funky tops and funky pants and then, you know, they don't really clash together and I don't have as many outfits as I want to. So that is why the goal was plain for this haul, even though this one technically totally breaks the plain, but at least I can wear this with like colored pants because it's only striped black and white. It kind of works. And that is, is that my last top? No, 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 I have one more top. Here we go. And I think this definitely, definitely fits the qualifications for plain top. I got another plain um, V-neck top because I have one V-neck top. I wear it all the time. And for the record, I am wearing a shirt during this haul. It almost looks like I'm not because of how like you're angled, but I promise I am wearing a top. And so the point is this top, I have a very similar one and I wear it all the time. It's always in the laundry basket and I never have it to wear when I want to. So I figured I should at least have one more and I probably would have bought another one if I saw one. And this is gonna be the last clothing item. Well, it's kind of clothing. And I'm pretty sure this is the last item. Did I stop telling you prices? No, I totally told you prices. But, oh, that's because there is one item that is in my laundry. Hold on. That receipt we did. That receipt we did. This is for the one we're about to do. Top ruffle sleeve. Oh, there is two things I forgot that are in my laundry basket, so I'll grab those in a second. And if you have made it this far in this video, please go ahead and hit that like button down below and let me know that you're still surviving throughout this whole entire long haul. Let's move on to the next item, which I'm about to show you was $14.99. It says it's compared at $23, but this is one of the ones where I know for a fact that the compared at price is not exactly correct because it has its original like tag and it says it is $48 and this item is a large slash extra large but I'll explain the moment why I got it but it is from Linnea I am horrible at pronouncing things or reading things so here you go I'll show you so that is where it is from and this is the item and it's an extra large but that is okay because it is actually just a black cinch nightgowns well not nightgown but robe like one of those robe nightgowns and i have a robe similar to this but it's this material that always makes me sweat so i never really want to wear it and this is not that material it's more like pajama -y material and i don't mind that it's big because i can just like, tie it in the waist wear it comfy loungy or sexy depending on you know the scenario but i love it it's so nice it's about to rub up my face on it get foundation all over it but i didn't do it and i can't wait to wear this I won't lie, I've kind of been waiting to wear it. And the other two items, like I said, are in my laundry basket. So let me grab, grab those bad boys. Okay, we are back in business. I have the last two clothing items, which I will show you after I show you a few other things. We kind of got in a clothing mood and I kind of want to show some other things. So let me open this other bag. These are not my favorite items yet, but they are some other items that are not clothing. So let's see what we got here in these bags. So, okay few different things here and this bag does contain my favorite item but it's not showing you that yet I will show you that at the end kind of a bigger item kind of a more expense investment type item and let's get to these okay so I have these here and this here and let's start off with this so I really needed some perfumes and it's so hard to tell when you're at Marshalls and stuff like that what they even smell like. I ended up going to the register with three different perfumes. I was going to buy one specifically and then I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, can I just smell it before I buy it? Because I know I can return it after I, you know, smell it. But it was closing time so I was like, can I smell it right now before I buy it? And he's like, sure. So we opened it up. It smelled not, let's just say it was not what I was going for, so I did not get it, and then I opened up this other perfume, it was a Calvin Klein one, but it was kind of more of an, a Calvin Klein for an older clientele, and then I opened up this one from, where is it, 
I think it was Marc Jacobs or something, and it basically didn't smell like anything, so I didn't think it was gonna do the job. And then this one was limited edition, and it is a natural spray. So I'm not technically sure if natural spray is technically a perfume, but either way, this is the one I got. It looks like this. This is the box. And it has this cute pattern on it. And then I already took it out and have been using it, so it is right here. I really... Well, I don't say I really like it, but I like it and it does what I was looking for. It's kind of like a small little bottle and this was crapple doodle. This one had like an outer tag on it and he definitely took that because I opened it up and smelled it then. So I don't have the tag for it, but let me see if I have the receipt in here. Okay, I think I put the receipt in my wallet, but I believe this one was like under 30, above 15. I think it was like 20 something. And it's just like this little perfume right here. It smells pretty good. I wish you guys could smell it, but here you go. Attempt to smell it, but while you were looking at this cute bottle. So this is what the bottle looks like. And then smell right now, guys, okay? Just like put your finger up so that I'm not spraying your face, okay? Just ready, ready, okay? And I was gonna spray it and then I realized I was gonna spray my freaking lens by doing that, but right now I'm gonna spray it myself. I know you guys can't smell me while I'm filming, but I can smell myself and I don't always smell the best when I'm filming, so <coughs> don't inhale. So I am putting that on so I'll smell a little bit better, but I definitely breathe some of that in. Okay, so let's move on. The other thing is going to be this item where I mostly got it because of the price. I needed one, but I wasn't going to per se buy this one until I saw that it was in the clearance section. There you go. So this is the packaging on it. That is what the wand looks like if it was actually, you know, clean and didn't have mascara on it. And this is just going over everything. But if you see that price tag right there, let me flip this. See that price tag right there? It was three dollars. So those three dollars is a great price for any mascara. It might be some a product they no longer sell anymore, the company, but I still thought it would be good. It has like two clearance stickers on it, like one clearance sticker on top of another, so it definitely didn't sell sell and it's covering up what the original price is. But I got it for three dollars, a great price for any mascara, and it looks like this is cute little pink bottle. And I have it over my fake lashes right now, so I am wearing fake lashes, and I, most times when I film, I do. So you don't know until this point in the video, but you actually kind of had a sneak peek opinion on one of the items I bought. And I don't know if you can tell from this clip what is missing, but one of the items I bought was two packs of lashes. And so the lashes I'm gonna wear right now are one of them, it is the volume ones, and I have worn them once to work ready and got multiple compliments on them, and now I'm about to put them on for you so that I can film with some lashes on. So here are the eyelashes right here. I have worn them once before, but let me show you a close up of them. They look like this. And then I do not use the eyelash glue that ever comes with the packs. And then I have some tweezers here and I have this eyelash glue because this is my favorite eyelash glue. It's the only one I use and it is the Duo Eyelash Glue in clear. I tried the black out. I wasn't really much of a fan. It felt kind of messy. And so I'm about to get these bad boys on so I can film for you. But I can't do this one handed so poof. YouTube magic, my eyelashes are now on, and this is what they look like. Obviously, you saw them throughout this video, but here is kind of like a close-up of what they look like. I really like them. They're not too over the top, but they add a little extra touch to it. And I am about to um, finish my hair and then start filming, or for you guys, you're about to get back to the haul and see the rest of it. I appreciate you all for watching this far along. And so those are the lashes, and they came in these boxes right here. Well, this one specifically, so I got two pairs of these lashes so the volume ones look like this so that is the information about the company here are the lashes I'm wearing obviously the top pair right there and then it looks like this and I got them for what $5.99 is that what it says $5.99 so I got them for $5.99 and here is the other pair these ones are a little bit less natural and they look like this Yes, and then since we're in this close-up, um, guys, I just recently redid my nails and I think they look great. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you like my nails that I do myself because I kind of have to because of allergies and sometimes I definitely don't think they look as good as this one. They never will because that is literally their jobs, but I think they still look pretty cute. So here is a close-up of them. 
don't know if you'll be able to see it. But here they are. I just did a nude because my coworker actually got me in the mood to do a nude. And I do pointed now and I never used to, but I figured, you know, I don't need to be that, that professional and a pointed tip is fine. But these bad boys were each, like I said, $5.99 and I just needed some more lashes because mine were getting kind of dingy and I had ones that I didn't like as much. And I ended up really liking the results of the volume ones. I'll see what the glamour ones look like. Those are more of like a night out, less like a day at work. And I've actually already worn them at work, got some compliments, and let me know what you think of them now that you know that I got them from Marshalls and I got them right before this video. And that is the last of like the makeup-y type products. I probably could have gotten more. There's so much stuff there. But like I said, it was right before closing, so I didn't have much time to look around. I went to a further Marshalls though. So if you don't like the Marshalls you usually go to, don't think that all of them are the same. So the close Marshalls to me isn't that great. It's like okay, but it's not that great. So I went a little bit further out. And when I mean a little bit further out, I mean it was probably double the drive, but it was so worth it because it's such a better Marshalls. And I'm definitely gonna go back, probably do another haul for you guys later on. But for now, let me finish up this haul. You guys are welcome to check out my other sit down videos where I do things from, you know, like active wear hauls to vlogs, to other sit down videos. And I really appreciate it if you watch my other stuff. But let's finish this haul right now and stop with the self-promoting okay so this item right here had to be papered up looks like this and I could have gotten it for a dollar if I was okay with the chip in it but I was not it didn't seem worth the effort of fixing it so it looks like this it is just a white serving tray and so if I had you know people over and I want to you know put food on here it would be just a great way to present it it was super cute I probably would have gotten a bowl if they had a bowl in a similar like concept but they did not and this one was $7.99. So I got it for about $8 and it was compared at $12. But I thought it'd be just super cute. It doesn't per se go with some of my other stuff, but I really like it. And let's get back to the clothing item. I have two more items left. And that is these bad boys right here. And one of them is probably my favorite item I got, like one of my favorite items. And this top right here, which is totally inside out and I totally got it for my laundry basket. It is, fits that criteria of a plain black top. So it is a plain black top with a little poofy sleeve and it definitely is poofy when you're wearing it. And it is a bodysuit, so it makes it much easier. There's like my hair hanging off of it, but it is a bodysuit. So it is very easy to tuck into some jeans or leggings and not have a worry about like it bunching up or not fitting right. Though I'm totally about that no panty line lifestyle and these definitely give you a panty line, but that's okay. There we go, so I got the top with ruffle sleeves, which is the note I put for $12.99 and was compared at $17 and it is from Mikey and Joey. And then the last item I got was $19.99 and it was compared at $25 but it actually has its original sticker and guys, it was $68. So there we go, if you don't believe me, $68 and married at $25. So it's a very big difference and I don't think I would have bought it for $68 or even 20 something dollars, but I'm so happy that I got it for the price that I did. And it is this cardigan right here. It has this little like zipper right here. It's just a little added detail. And I think it looks super cute. It becomes my like go-to jacket to put over things at work and wear as more of like a cardigan style or like going out and wearing it as a black jacket because currently the only black jackets I really have are an activewear jacket that now rain windbreaker jacket which is also a good go-to and now this and it'll keep me probably a little bit warmer than the windbreaker and it's super cute and I love it and I almost didn't get it because of the price and I was like, no Tori, get it. It's not that expensive, you can handle it. And that basically reaches us to my top favorite already definitely used items and they're super heavy and that is these bad boys right here and I know this doesn't really count as one item to leave for the end, it's multiple items, but let me open it up for you. So these are already partially opened and oh let's open the ones I, oh no they're all open. Um, wait, actually one isn't open. Okay, let's open the one that's not open. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So the last items I am going to show you is I bought a dish set. So it is from Homestead Basics. And here are the mini plates. And they look like this. And I will show you a plate out of the box because I've actually used some of these already. These ones, like I said, are the mini um, plates. And they were $7.99 compared at $12. And all of them are four packs. So I now have a nice set that is a set set and is going to stay together. 
and this goes great with my more industrial vibe that I'm going for throughout my apartment and my room and my kitchen table is more that industrial vibe so I thought these look great with that and then I got the pack of bowls so this is what the bowls look like oh there's some dust in here but ignore that guys so this is what the bowls look like that they have this little ridge right here it's definitely this metal look but it's ceramic and I think they look super cute. And they were also $7.99 and compared at $12. So I got them for the same price. And again, it was a pack of four. And then the last items I got were big plates. So, let's, so they were big plates. And the big plates were $9.99 and compared at $13. Which came kind of silly. The compared at for those were a dollar less than this. But the price difference was, oh, I guess about a No, $2. Because what, $9.99? Yeah, they were $9.99, so about $2 more than the other stuff, but the compared up price is only a dollar less, so did they get a dollar out of me? But either way, this is what the plates look like, which are similar to the smaller ones, to give you an idea. And they look like this. They have the little ridges on them, just like the bowls does, and the metal look. And this definitely reminds me of a plate at a bar, and it just gives that total bar food eating vibe that I totally want in my place and lo looks great on my table. So when I get my own place, it'll be much nicer, you know, to have it all. I'm gonna somewhat use these when I have like guests over and when I'm cooking something specific or when I just want a little bit extra like tr treat meal and eat these off of here because I still have a lot of dishes but they're white and all like scratched up and ugly so I wanted something nicer for when I'm cooking for other people or when I just want to have a nicer meal and that is everything guys so I spent about 251 dollars which is more than I normally spend on an outing, but I thought it was worth it because there's a lot of stuff I wanted and it made me feel a little bit better. Thank you all for watching and seeing my whole entire haul. I really appreciate it, but I promise you this is not the end. I have more videos for you to watch, so if you want to go check out my channel or look down below, I have some recommendations for you from hauls to vlogs to sit-down videos. I definitely show you the experience of what it's like adulting and help you adulting for yourself, and I would really appreciate it if you are not already part of the crazy family if you hit that subscribe button and join us and I will see you next Sunday with a new video